Many people want me to explain in words about the video. Step-by-step -step instructions for making a homemade air cooler super cold air conditioner under 10 degrees. I hope everyone will pay attention to watch each step. Thank you very much. Tip, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a DIY air cooler that can reach an incredible minus 10 degrees Celsius. Yes, you heard that right, negative 10. It's a simple project that uses just a few parts and you can build it at home without expensive tools. By the end, you'll have a compact homemade AC unit that's powerful enough to cool drinks or small spaces in minutes. Step 1. Gather the materials. For this project, you'll need three copper pipes with different diameters. One of them will be our capillary tube for controlling gas flow. A 12-volt DC air compressor pump with enough pressure for a small cooling system. One meter of clear high-pressure PVC tubing to connect everything. A small 12 volts DC fan to blow the hot air out. A 12 volts DC power supply and a corresponding plug, and that's it. Simple components, but when combined, they create a surprisingly effective cooling system. Step to out shape and prepare the copper pipes, start with the largest diameter copper pipe. This will act as the evaporator coil where the cooling magic happens. Gently bend it into a tight spiral or coil shape. The more surface area exposed, the more efficiently it will cool. You can use a pipe bender or do it slowly by hand to avoid kinks. Drill through these two copper tubes to create holes to install the capillary tubes and solder them. Next, take the medium-sized copper pipe and bend it into a smaller coil. This will serve as the condenser. Finally, prepare the smallest copper pipe, the capillary tube. This thin pipe controls how much pressurized gas enters the evaporator, creating the temperature drop. Step 3. Connect and solder. Now we join the copper pipes together. The outlet of the compressor connects to the condenser coil. From the condenser, the gas flows through the capillary tube into the evaporator coil. Make sure every joint is soldered tightly to prevent leaks. This is crucial for maintaining pressure and achieving low temperatures. There are a few tips that you need to pay close attention to each step to achieve the best results. There are movements that do not need to be described in words. I also hope you will understand immediately when watching. If you have any questions, please respond below this video. I will explain thoroughly for you. Thank you. No matter who you are, if you love DIY projects, exploring creative builds, and discovering clever life hacks that make everyday tasks easier and more fun, you're in the right place. We turn ideas into reality, one project at a time. From fascinating experiments to practical inventions, our goal is to inspire, teach, and entertain. If you enjoy learning new skills, watching unique creations come to life, and picking up tips you can use right away, then hit that subscribe button and join our community of makers and innovators. Your support helps us keep creating and sharing these exciting projects with the world.
In the previous video, I used a low power compressor. Many people commented that it was too small, so in this video, I used a much larger one with very high pressure, which can deflate a Coca Cola bottle in a short time. You're probably wondering what this air pump valve does, right? You'll see how it works near the end of the video. Step 4. Set up the cooling fan and tubing. Attach the clear PVC tubing to connect the compressor to your copper coil assembly. Mount your small fan so it blows air across the evaporator coil.
This is the connector of a modified tire inflator and I used a medical syringe to suck all the air out of the system. I don't have any special machines here. Everything is done by hand and by estimation. Please understand and give me feedback so I can learn from my experience in the next videos. Thank you very much. Note, always handle pressurized systems carefully and wear safety glasses when testing. Step 5, power up and test, connect your 12 volt DC power supply to the compressor and the fan. Switch it on and within seconds you should feel the temperature drop. If you measure the copper surface with a thermometer, you'll see it quickly drop toward minus 10 degrees Celsius. And there you have it, a compact, homemade air cooler that's powerful, portable, and can reach freezing cold temperatures. If you found this project interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more DIY builds from Testing Tip.